Anchor D Bank Arena here at Oscar Williams Fieldhouse on the campus of Oklahoma Panhandle State University in Goodwell, Oklahoma. Girls action coming up first. The ladies from Oklahoma City University, the Stars, have come to town to take on your Lady Aggies. Oklahoma City comes into this contest with a five and seven overall record, two and five in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Their starters tonight. Number three, Analia Dawn. Number five, Elaine Witt. Trying to get some numbers here. <laughs> Number 10, Amaya Gordon. Number 24, Fiona Wilson. And I'll get you that fifth one. I can't see right now, but sorry about that. The Lady Stars are coached by head coach Chris Siegenthaler. And she is assisted by Taylor Wallenberg. And now the starting lineup for your Lady Aggies. 5'7", junior guard from Erie, Pennsylvania, number three, Jemiah Eady. A 5'4", senior guard from Hugo, Oklahoma, number four, Tatum Jones. 5'7", junior guard from Fairbanks, Alaska, number 14, Sierra Tate. A 5'8", sophomore guard from Amarillo, Texas, number 15, Mariah Williams. And a 5'8", sophomore forward from Elkhart, Kansas, number 25, Chevelle Ralston. All right, I've finally seen the number on this. Uh, fifth starter for the Lady Stars. At center, number 21, Casey Gorman. It'll be Gordon and Ralston jumping to start this one off. Lady Aggies coming in here. First year head coach Greg Gay, Greg Ray, assisted by Brandy Henton. Stars have the opening possession. Aggies coming to this one, one and nine, one and six in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Aggies come out in a three two zone. Ball along the baseline, skip pass back out top to the opposite corner, three-pointers up, off the back iron, long rebound, Stars maintain the possession. Dawn grabbed that rebound, three-pointer up, second one no good as well, rebounded underneath by Edie. Lady Aggies back the other way quickly, all the way through the lane, passes it off, shot in the lane is up and good. Sierra Tate with the first basket, two to nothing, Lady Aggies. Talk to Coach Ray, a couple of players, brand new, putting on uniforms today for the Lady Aggies. First game this semester, we're tied up now as the quick basket back the other way. But he said this is the pace they want to play out. They want to play at a frenetic pace, up and down quickly. Ball back in the lane, floater is up and good by Edie. Four to at Lady Aggies, one minute into the contest. Went for the steal, missed. Drive to the free throw line by Gordon, back outside now. Witt kicks it to the corner. Wilson drives baseline, kicks corner, three-pointer up by Dawn. Missed everything, Edie with the rebound. Outlet pass quickly to Jones. Cross the lane, baseline, kicks it across. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lady Aggies. Ball inbounded, now back up top. Opposite wing to Ralston. 41, 41. Tate, they kick it down to Edie in the corner. Man defense by the Lady Stars. Williams, shot put up with six on the shot clock, missed. Rebound on the backside by Dawn. Kicks it down low, turn around, shot too strong, rebounded though by Gordon, and she's going to be fouled underneath. First foul of the game. They'll call that one on Ralston. That will be her first, and of course, first team foul as well. 7.58 left here in the first quarter. 
Getting close to the five second call, and he did get it. Aggie, Lady Aggie defense gets the five second call. So ball back over to Panhandle State. Jones brings the ball up. Off to Tate, baseline kick to Williams. Tried to get it inside, tapped away. And that's gonna be a foul. Looks like they'll probably call that one on Williams. A couple of Aggies there will make sure. And it is on Williams. That will be her first team's second foul. They tried to lob one in there to Ralston in the post. Ball was tipped and then knocked away by the post defender as well. Almost a steal there by Jones. Ball knocked away momentarily, baseline. Cut off, that's gonna be a travel. Called on Don. Oh, they'll call the offensive foul on Don. That'll be her first. She did go into the defender a little bit aggressive. 7.24 on the first quarter clock. Lady Aggies with a 4-2 lead. That's going to be a travel on Edie. A little bit of indecisive. Ball back over to Oklahoma City. Witt brings the ball up for the Stars. Gordon kicks it down into the corner to Wilson. Now back outside, opposite wing. Short jumper is good from about 10 feet by Gordon. We're tied up at four apiece. Just under two minutes into the contest. Ball kicked around. Drive by Tate, puts up the shot, gets it to drop, draws the foul. She'll go to the line for the and one free throw. Foul will be called on Casey Gorman. That will be her first, team's first foul. Tate converts the free throw. Lady Aggies up seven to four. 6.39 to play here in the first quarter. Cross court pass to Gorman. Double team gets it back outside. Witt kicks it into the corner. Three ball is up, no good. Rebounded by Edie. Clears out, looks to push ahead. Long pass ahead to Ralston. Tries to put the shot up, but it's blocked by Gorman. Lady Aggie defense stops the ball. Shot in the lane is up, banks it up and in. Contact, but no call. Gorman with the basket. Seven to six now, six left. First quarter, Edie with it. Gives it back to Williams, back to Edie. Comes off the screen from Williams. Dives inside, ball stolen away. Got off balance. Dawn with it, passes it up ahead to Gordon. Gordon almost goes out of bounds, throws it back in. Williams grabs the loose ball. Ralston with it now. Loses control, ball on the ground. That's going to be a jump ball. Is Tate able to tie it up? A couple of subs into the game for the Lady Aggies. A 5'6 junior guard from Oakland, California, number five, Bianca Camello. And also a 6'3 senior post from Wiley, Texas, number 22, Morgan Williamson. 5'35 left first quarter. Aggies, Lady Aggies by one. Tate kicks it over to the opposite side to Camello. A drive by Tate, loses control of the ball. Gordon with it now back the other way. That's gonna be a travel. Ball back over to Panhandle State. Subs for the Lady Aggies. So into the game, a 5'4 freshman junior guard from Guymon, Oklahoma, number 13, Joe Quintero. Also a 5'10 senior forward from Muskegon, Michigan, number 21, Tierra Williams. There's a three by Quintero, missed, rebounded by Witt, back the other way for the Lady Stars. Kicked back outside. 
Ball's on the floor. Quintero grabs the loose ball. Loses control, though, and it's going to be a layup for Dawn. And the Stars take an 8-7 lead. 440 left here in the first quarter. Quintero kicks it over. Down to Williamson. Puts up the baseline shot, no good. Also missed into the game. 5-5 five, five junior guard as that three is up and good for Oklahoma City. 11-7 now the score. 4-10 left. First quarter, Quintero with the ball. Williams kicks it to the corner to Harvey Williams. Quintero drives, shot blocked. Stars come away with it. Williams, or Witt, long pass to Gordon. She's going to be tied up, though. Kicks back outside. Witt for three from the deep wing. It's good. Timeout on the floor. 3.47 left in the first quarter. Oklahoma City 14, Panhandle State 7. out on the floor uh, one of the one of the subs I missed for the Lady Aggies a 5-5 junior guard from Madison Wisconsin number 10 Alana Harvey Williams three-pointer is up and no good as that was Benet Butler who just came into the game a 5-6 sophomore guard from Philadelphia Pennsylvania Oklahoma City with the ball on a bit of a run here. They scored eight straight, 8-0 run. Three-pointers up by Dawn, no good. Rebound by Williams. Gives it off to Harvey Williams. Williamson with the ball. Pass to Williams, can't control it, a little too low. Stolen away. Drives, spin at the block, has to kick it back outside. Good defense by Williamson to step out there. Three-pointer from the corner, rims out. Ball tipped out, Harvey Williams with the rebound. Lady Aggies in transition, kicks across the lane. Shot is up and up and good by Butler. 14 to nine now, two and a half left in the first quarter. Ball kicked in the corner, skip. Three-pointer put from the opposite wing. Missed everything, though. Chased down from behind. Number 11, Ray Osborne, that came in during the timeout. Ball stolen away, though, by Harvey Williams. Butler. Now to Camello at the free throw line. Puts up the shot, left it short. Ball out of bounds. Back over to Oklahoma City. Checking into the game. Number 22, Reagan Travis for the Lady Stars. 158 left here, first quarter. So back into the game for the Lady Aggies. Number four, Tatum Jones. Number 14, Amaya Howard with the ball, hands it off. Spin in the lane, shot is up. Williamson affected that one. They'll call the foul to Lady Aggies there. We'll see who they called that one on. And they do call that one on Morgan Williamson. That will be her first, team's third. So at the line, 
shooting number 11, Ray Osborne. And that one rattles in, 15 to nine now the score. Mariah Williams checks back into the game for Panhandle. Baseline tried to split the defenders. That was Camelo, and they'll call her for the travel. Ball back over to Oklahoma City. Tate checks back in. Howard gives it off to Dawn. Dawn puts up the three, and it's good. Oklahoma City hitting pretty well from three point. It's now 18 to nine. Tate with the ball. Skip pass, Harvey Williams with the ball now. Ball to the high post to Williamson. Back over to Tate, she'll put up the wing three. It's good. 18 to 12 now the score. One minute left to play here in the first quarter. Dawn with the drive into the lane. Backdoor pass is up and good. No looker to Gorman who put it up and in on the layup. Eight point lead for the Lady Stars. Driving the lane, floaters up, no good. Williamson with the rebound and the putback. 20 to 14. Just over 30 seconds left here first quarter. Osborne drives baseline, tried to kick it in the lane. Shot is up, no good by Gorman, but she's smacked across the arms. Foul will be called on Tate. That'll be her first, team's fourth foul. Ralston checks back into the game for the Lady Aggies. And Gordon back in for the Lady Stars. So Gorman at the line for two shots. First is up and good. Rims out on the second. Ralston with the rebound. Whacked across the back of the head. No call. 20 seconds. Tate all the way in. No good. And does draw the foul, though. Foul is going to be on Gorman. That's going to be her second already. So she'll check out. Her, her sub was already waiting to check in. So a little ill-timed for the Stars on that one. 23 Kelsey Fitzgerald checks in. So at the line, Tatum Jones for two shots, sinks the first. Misses the second, under 20 seconds left. Stars with the ball, leading by six. Pass down low, knocked away. Ralston with it, 10 seconds left. Brings it across midcourt, gives it up to Harvey Williams. Five seconds, pulls out. She's going to take the long two, runs around the rim about five times and drops in right before the buzzer. So at the end of one quarter of play, it's Oklahoma City 21, Panhandle State 17.
Here we go with the second quarter of play. Lady Aggies trailing by four. That final shot ran around that rim about four times before it finally dropped in. Ran off the last three seconds. Stars with the ball. Drive free throw line, kicked back out. Fitzgerald with it. Howard kicks it, baseline drive, cut off. Another drive shot put up and gets it to drop. Nice shot there by Howard. 23-17, back the other way. Into the post shot, left short. Shoots it back outside though. Williams tapped it out to Ralston. Drive to the hoop, put up no good by Tate. Knocked it away from the Lady Stars though, so it will stay with the Lady Aggies. Inbound to Edie, now back to Jones. Now into the post to Ralston, goes the ground, kicks to the corner, Tate for three, rims out. Rebounded by Williams on the backside. Puts up the shot, high off the glass. Nice touch off the backboard. She had to kick that one up high. 23-19, nine left in the first half. Ball across the timeline, Howard with it. Aggies looking to trap. Backdoor baseline is open, kicks it across the lane. Shot is up and good by number 22, Reagan Travis. 25-19 now the score. That pass to Ralston too high. Back the other way, Osborne with it. Now Howard back to Osborne, kick to the corner. Baseline jumper by Gordon, too strong. Rebound on the backside, but out of bounds. As Fitzgerald couldn't save that. When checking back into the game for the Stars is Witt and Dawn. Harvey Williams checks back into the game for Panhandle. 8.26 left, second quarter. Lady Aggies trailing by six. Harvey Williams in the corner, gets it to Ralston on the post. Kicked back outside to Jones. Jones, skip pass over to Edie. She'll put up the three, no good. Rebound on the backside by Gordon. Tapped away the steal by Jones. Back the other way, drives in the lane. Back outside, Ralston for three. Nothing but net. Cuts the lead to three, just under eight to play in the first half. Ball past the timeline. They'll get it to Fitzgerald. Now into the corner to Dawn. She'll go baseline, kicks into the lane. Good defense in there. Out to Witt for three, in and out. Rebound by Gordon, puts up the short jumper. Rims out, Ralston with the rebound. Long pass ahead to Harvey Williams. Dives in the lane, puts up the shot, can't get it to go. Rebound by Edie, and the bank up. Put back is good. One point game, 25-24. 7-10 to play, second quarter. Witt, long pass open on the backside is Fitzgerald, lays it up and in. At backside of the Aggie defense fell asleep. 27-24 now the score. High post, now over to Ralston. In and out on the three, no good. Williams tried to rebound, but knocked it out of bounds. Checking back in for the Stars, Howard and Wilson. Witt gets it to Dawn, drives baseline, hesitation draws the foul. Oh, they'll call the travel on her. Looked like she drew the foul, but they called the foul. Butler and Williams check back into the game. Tierra Williams. Six twenty left. 
second quarter. Lady Aggies trailing by three. Pass in the post, knocked away by Wilson. Back the other way, Jones almost had another steal again. Howard with the ball, kicks to the corner. Witt, drive, kicks back outside. Fitzgerald looked at the three, drives in the lane, puts up the shot, no good. Gets her own rebound though, kicks it back outside to Witt. Open on the wing, baseline drive, floater is up, no good. Rebound underneath though by Wilson, puts up the shot, gets it to go in traffic. 29-24, 5.40 to play in the first half. Harvey Williams for the three, in and out. Mariah Williams with the rebound, puts up the shot, no good. Fouled on the putback though. Fitzgerald is called for the foul. That'll be her first team, first team foul of the quarter. First free throw off the back iron. 5.28 left here in the first half. Second shot, in and out. Rebounded by Fitzgerald. Howard with it, kicks it over to Dawn. Now back to Fitzgerald. Witt, Dawn with the drive. Hesitation, spins at the free throw line, kicks outside to Fitzgerald. And that's gonna be a double dribble call. Turnover back to the Lady Aggies. Jones over to Butler. Five left in the first half. Butler on the dribble, gives it back. Now over to Harvey Williams. High post. Tierra Williams tied up. They'll call the jump ball. Arrow points in favor of the Lady Aggies, so they'll maintain possession. Pass in the lane, shot is up, no good, gets her own rebound. Gets it the second time, Mariah Williams with another basket. Playing big in there, 29-26 now the score. Four and a half left in the half. Baseline drive by Whip. banks it up, no good. Rebound underneath by Williams and a foul call. That'll be on William, Wilson, her first. Team second of the quarter. Camello checks back in. Back in for the Stars, Ray Osborne. Jones drives to the baseline and does draw a foul. Looks like they'll call that one on Dawn. That will be her second, team's third of the quarter. Lady Aggies inbound the ball into the corner. Camello gets it to Williams. Three-pointer is up, no good. Camello falls on shot though. Foul will be called on Osborne. Her first foul, team's fourth. Bianca Camello at the line, two shots, sinks the first one. 4.07 left here in the half. Camello can cut it to one here and does. Zone pressure by the Lady Aggies. They're able to get it across midcourt, drive to the block, banks it up and in. That was Wilson, 31-28. They were able to beat the press, Camello with it. 
Oh, tapped away there by Howard. Howard hesitation, picks it up, kicks it back out. Dawn for the top of the key, and she drains it. Timeout on the floor, 3.36 left to play in, here in the half. Oklahoma City 34, Panhandle State 28. You know you can manage your home Wi-Fi network right from your smartphone? With PTCI Whole Home Wi-Fi, you can quickly and easily manage your home Wi-Fi through your PTCI Wi-Fi app. Set your Wi-Fi password, view connected devices, run speed tests, set up parental controls and more. Experience the best in home Wi-Fi with PTCI Wi-Fi app. Call now and get three months free of whole home Wi-Fi and visit ptci.net to download the app today. Lady Aggies ball trailing by six. Jones brings it up. Harvey Williams on the wing. She'll take the three. Nothing but net. Cuts the lead in half to three, 34-31. 3.15 to play. Ball into the corner, Dawn with it. Looking to go baseline. At the block, puts it up too high. Didn't even hit backboard there. Jones with it. Quickly back the other way, passes ahead to Williams. Too strong, out of bounds. And back over to Oklahoma City. Three minutes exactly on the clock left in this first half. Drive into the lane. Shot is up and good by Osborne, 36-31. High post to Williams. Goes left, banks it up, left it short. Rebounded by Wilson. Dawn with it, kicks it outside. Almost lost that one. She got it to Howard though. Howard in trouble, gets it outside to Witt. Shot clock at 10, drive all the way to the hoop and laid up and in by Wilson. 38-31, two minutes left in the first half. Jones to Williams, over to Harvey Williams. Skip pass to Camelo, baseline to Tierra Williams. High post, Harvey Williams for three, no good. Tierra Williams with the putback. 38-33. 1.30 left to play. Here in the half, Dawn with the ball. Drives free throw line, spin to the block, back outside to Witt. Wilson looks to drive from the top of the key. Gets that shot to go, Harvey Williams got a hand on that shot, but Wilson able to power through and get that one to go, 40 to 33. Camello. Opposite side to Jones. High post, Tierra Williams. Drive, tied up. They'll call a jump ball. Edie, Ralston. And Tate check back into the game for the Lady Aggies. Osborne checks back into the game. Drive by Witt. Ball kick to the wing. Osborne with it. Spin to the block. Puts it up and in, 42-33 now, 35 seconds left before half. Edie with the ball on the wing, gets a screen from Ralston. Drives in, puts up the shot, draws a foul. That's gonna be on Wilson, that'll be her second. Team's fifth. So 
That will put Lady Aggies in the bonus the rest, but only 26, 26.5 left in the quarter. And it was a shooting foul, so Edie at the line for two shots anyway. Misses the first. Second free throw, up and good. 42-34. Witt will walk it up for Oklahoma City. Guarded out front by Tate. She'll give it up to Howard. Now Fitzgerald. Opposite side to Osborne. Eight seconds. Back outside, three-pointer is up by Howard. No good. Rebounded underneath by Osborne. No, knocked away. Edie with it. One second shot from half court. No good. We head to the half. It's Oklahoma City 42, Panhandle State 34. We'll be back with the second half.
PTCI Cellular gives you the best of both worlds, with 42 towers from Kenton to Laverne. No one else covers you like we do in Northwest Oklahoma. And when you travel across this great land, PTCI's nation partners keep you connected. Experience the best service today, 800-562-2556 or visit ptci.net. Contract buyouts are available. Some restrictions may apply.
And we welcome you back to Oscar Williams Fieldhouse, Anchor D Bank Arena here on the campus of Oklahoma Panhandle State University in Goodwell, Oklahoma. Lady Aggies trailing 42-34 to the Oklahoma City Stars. Trying to get uh, some full stats here. They're a little shorthanded as students haven't returned. And, of course, they rely a little bit on some of the students to help with some of that stuff. And I, they're just handing me some here now to go over that. Um, we look at this, you know, team-wise, Lady Aggies were, well, good grief. That's, that's showing through <laughs> all four quarters, so they can't be right. Let's go over the points here. For the Lady Aggies, very uh, even scoring. Nobody in double figures. In fact, the highest scorers were at five. Sierra Tate with five. Also, Jemiah Eady with five as well. Uh, Mariah Williams with four. Tatum Jones with four. Chevelle Ralston with three. Morgan Williamson with two. Benet Butler with two. Bianca Camello with two. For the Lady Stars, leading scorer there. Analia Dawn with 11. Only player in the game in double figures as she hit three threes in that first half. Uh, Fiona Wilson came off the bench to score eight. Casey Gorman with five, Ray Osborne with five, Elaine Witt with five, Amaya Gordon with two, Amaya Howard with two, Reagan Travis with two, and Kelly Fit Kelsey Fitzgerald with two as well. So here we go, ready for the second half of play. Here's some of those team stats from the first half. Aggies were 13 of 32 from the field, hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. five of nine from the line. Please. Oklahoma City was 18 of 33 and two of four from the line. They were four of 11 from three point range. Aggies were three of 11. Aggies with the ball here, trying to cut into this eight point lead. Shot clock under 10. Edie puts up the 15-footer off balance. No good. Ralston with the rebound on the backside. Drive floater in the lane. Blocked by Gorman. And that's going to be an over and back on the pass to Witt. Jones with the ball up top. Edie on the wing. Splits defenders, kicks outside. Ralston looked at their three, skip pass to the opposite side. Drive to the baseline, kicks out. Pass on the backside, intercepted to Wilson. Up ahead to Dawn, puts up the shot, no good, but she's gonna be fouled by Jones. That will be Jones' first foul. Team's first foul as well. And it will be Dawn at the line for two shots. First free throw is good. Going back to some of those half Half stats, the Aggies, Lady Aggies did out-rebound as the second shot goes through, out-rebounded the Lady Stars. 21-16, drive to the hoop, shot blocked as it was put up by Sierra Tate, stolen away. Oklahoma City with it, oh, stolen back by Edie, and then Dawn is gonna be called for her third foul. Her fir team first of the quarter. Mariah Williams will inbound the ball for the Lady Aggies. Tate at the point, back to Williams. Into the corner to Jones. All around the perimeter. Three-pointer is up by Tate, it's good! 
Sierra Tate makes it 44-37, eight and a half to play in the third. But Tate went for the steal, missed. Long two in and out, no good. Wilson gets her own rebound though. Kicks it out to Dawn on the opposite wing. Went to go baseline, cut off by Edie. Witt drives, kicks out. Wilson for three, a deep one. Gets that one to drop. 10 point game with eight to play in the third, 47-37. Ralston back to Williams. Opposite side into the corner. Edie for three, in and out. Long rebound by Witt. Drive in the lane by Gordon, puts up the left-handed shot, it's good. 49-37 now the score. Seven and a half in the third. Edie with the ball on the wing, back up top, Ralston. Williams with the drive to the block. Shot is blocked there by Gorman. Ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with the Lady Aggies. Seven, 11 left here, third quarter. Aggies inbound the ball, but the shot clock had been reset, but it shouldn't have been. It's at eight seconds. Inbounded to Edie, she'll take the the wing three, no good. Rebounded by Dawn on the backside. Long pass ahead to Gordon, who puts it up, left it short, and drew a foul call. Looks like that one will be on Edie. And it is her first, team second. Alana Harvey Williams checks into the game for Edie. Misses the first free throw. Second one rattles home from Gordon. 50 to 37 now the score, seven left to play in the third. Williams with the drive, puts up the floater, no good. Rebounded by Witt, pass up ahead to Dawn across midcourt. Pass in the lane, almost stolen, but went through the hands of Ralston into the hands of Gorman, lays it up and in, 52-37. This is the biggest lead of the game. Wilson called for her third foul. Williamson and Edie check into the game. Williams to Harvey Williams. Back to Williams. Edie back to Williams. Now into Williamson in the post. Puts up the hook shot along the baseline, missed. Loose ball on the floor, grabbed by Mariah Williams. Jumps inside the lane, kicks out. Baseline jumper is up and no good by Tate. Gets her own rebound, puts it up. No good, but fouled on the, the, rebat, the rebound. Foul is going to be on Dawn. That's going to be her fourth. So she'll check out of the game. Howard will come in for her. Third team foul on the Stars here in the third quarter with 6.06 still to play. Free throw up and good by Tate. Second free throw good as well. That's 10 points now for Tate. 52-39 the score. Witt drives, kicks out. Wilson for three. No good. Rebound on the backside by Edie. Over to Tate. Open for three. She'll take it. Off the back iron, long rebound grab by Gordon. Gordon brings it across midcourt to Witt. Baseline drive, cut off. Gives it up in the lane, shot is up. 
by Wilson, but she's fouled on the attempt. Harvey Williams will be called for her first foul. Team's third foul. First free throw off the front of the rim. Osborne checks into the game as well as Travis. Well, they're waiting at the scores table, actually. Second shot is good by Wilson. Five thirty one to play. In the third, fifty three thirty nine. Stars lead the Aggies. Harvey Williams three pointer is offline. Osborne with the rebound. Baseline that Gordon. Back outside Wilson. Back up top, Tate goes for the steal, gets a hand on it with the loose ball grabbed by Howard. Timeout on the floor, five minutes to play here in the third. Oklahoma City 53, Panhandle State 39. So you can manage your home Wi-Fi network right from your smartphone? With PTCI Whole Home Wi-Fi, you can quickly and easily manage your home Wi-Fi through your PTCI Wi-Fi app. Set your Wi-Fi password, view connected devices, run speed tests, set up parental controls and more. Experience the best in home Wi-Fi with PTCI Wi-Fi app. Call now and get three months free of whole home Wi-Fi and visit PTCI.net to download the app today. Out of the timeout, Oklahoma City ball. Lob to the block, double team, still puts up the shot, baseline, gets it to go. Yona Wilson at the line for the and one. Foul is going to be called on Harvey Williams, that will be her second. That was a tough shot over two Aggie defenders. Converts the three point play, 56-39. Largest lead of the game, Edie with the ball, back outside to Tate. Drive by Williams, loses the ball. And a kick. They'll say on the Aggies, ball goes over to Oklahoma City. Where you going? Pick up. Baseline drive, kicks out to the wing. Drive in to the right-hand side, shot no good. Williamson with the rebound. That shot was put up by Travis. Harvey Williams with it now. Ball tipped away by Travis. Uh, Gordon with it, gets it in the lane. Back to Travis. Shot up no good, but does draw the foul. I believe that will be on Mariah Williams. That's her second, team's fifth foul. Checking into the game for Oklahoma City, number 33, Reese Grimsley. First free throw is up and good by Travis. Second one good as well, 19 point lead. Now for the Stars, largest of the game. Edie, turnaround jumper at the block, no good. Rebounded by Osborne. Stars back the other way. Back on the wing. Travis to the block. They'll call her for the travel. Letting them play with some contact there. 3.55 left third quarter. Edie puts up the wing three. It's good. 58 42 now the score. Off 
Ball across the timeline. Howard all the way to the block. Looking to draw the foul. And looks like she will on Harvey Williams. A lot of offensive contact there, but no call. No call. There. Five fresh for the Lady Aggies. Witt will check in for the Stars as it's Butler, Quintero, Tierra Williams, Jones also checking in as well as Camelo. So Howard at the line, sinks the first. 3.31 left to play here, third quarter. Lady Stars have pulled away here in this third quarter. Howard sinks them both, 60 to 42, three and a half to play. Long pass up ahead, Camello with it. Drive in the lane by Jones, draws the foul. Foul will be called on Howard. That'll be her first. Team's fourth. Lady Aggies will inbound underneath their own basket. Camello spins at the block. Passes to Quintero in the lane. She's fouled from behind on that cut. Foul will be on Osborne, her second. Team's fifth foul. So Joe Quintero at the line. Sinks the first. Gets them both. 60 to 44, 316 to play. Lady Aggies will pick up full court man. Howard brings it across, spins at the free throw line, kicks down low, shot put up by Grimsley, no good. They'll call a jump ball on the rebound. We'll, ball will stay with the Stars. Into the corner, back out front. Grabbed by Howard, puts up the shot, free throw line, no good. Rebound checked there by Osborne. Howard kicks it out to Witt. Witt finds a gap in the lane, puts it up. Her shot was affected by Williams. Back quick the other way, Jones lays it up and in. 60 to 46 now the score. Two and a half left third quarter. Witt, back left-handed side ball on the ground. Now say kicked ball. It will stay with the Stars. Grimsley will check out. Gorman back in. And a travel called on Witt. Hop stepped into position. The ball turned back over to Panhandle State. Quintero with it on the wing, drives in the lane, puts up the left-hand shot, draws a foul. She'll go to the line again for two shots. Foul will be called on with. That'll be her first team sixth foul. So Lady Aggies are in the bonus. In and out on the first. And off the front of the rim on the second. And Joe comes up empty on her second trip. Witt, backdoor pass, ball loose on the ground. Grabbed by Butler. Jones brings it across the timeline, driving the lane. Now she'll back out. Dr 
Drive to the hoop. And a foul called. So it'll be Camello heading to the line. Foul will be called on Travis, her first team's sixth foul. So Bianca Camello, first shot is up. Good. Second free throw is good. Checking in for the Aggies, Ralston. Full court pr pressure by the Lady Aggies, 60 to 48. They've cut it to 12. It was as big as 19. Drive in, dumps it off. Gordon with the drive, Gorman with the basket. Ball turned back over, Howard with it. Spin in the lane, loses control. Lady Aggies come away with it. That's gonna be a travel call. They'll give it back to the Aggies as Gorman grabbed it, but slid on the floor. Checking in for Panhandle State for the first time today. 5'5 sophomore guard from El Paso, Texas, number 33, Bianca Gonzalez. Drive by Camello, and she's able to draw the foul. Foul is called on Gorman. That will be her third team's seventh foul. First free throw is up and good. Off the back iron, rebounded by Gordon. And we've got another foul as there's a collision near midcourt. Foul will be called on Ralston. That will be her second. Team sixth. It'll be Amaya Gordon at the line. Sinks the first. Rims out on the second. Ralston with the rebound. Austin to Butler. Butler baseline floater, too strong. Rebounded on the backside by Gordon. Under 40 left here in the third. Howard, baseline shot is good. From about 17 feet, 65 49. Under 30 seconds. Butler for the wing three, no good. Long rebound, chased down by Gonzalez. Hits Butler on the runner. Can't get that shot to go either. Ball out of bounds, last touch by the Lady Aggies. Back over to Oklahoma City, 15 seconds left in the quarter. Ball inbounded to Howard. Across the timeline, spins at the free throw line. To the left side, kicks out to the corner. Witt drives three seconds. And a three second call gives it back to the Lady Aggies with 2.1 on the clock. Ball inbounded to Jones to midcourt, puts up the shot. No good. After three quarters of play, it's Oklahoma City 65, Panhandle State 49.
Here we go with the fourth quarter. Lady Aggies with the ball, trailing by 16, a foul called almost as soon as the quarter starts. They'll t call that on Howard. That'll be her second, team's first of the quarter. Jones to Mariah Williams. Right, kick out, three-pointer is up by Jones. No good. Battle underneath, they'll call the foul. Mariah Williams, that looked like they were just going up for the rebound together. Not sure what the call is there. Third one on her, first team foul. Ball inbounded to Witt across the timeline. Drives cross lane pass. Shot is up and good by Gorman. 67-49. Quickly back the other way, Tate. Opposite wing, Walt Ralston for three, in and out. Rebounded by Gorman. Ball loose now. Grabbed by Howard. Driving the lane by Osborne, back to Howard. Now Witt, all the way to the hoop, lays it up, no good, but draws a foul. Foul will be called on Gonzalez, her first. Team second. First free throw from Witt, no good. Second free throw is good, 68-49, back to that 19-point lead. It's the light, largest margin we've seen tonight. Gonzalez to Ralston, back to Tate. Jones. Cut off, hands it off to Gonzalez. Williams to Gonzalez, drives in. Left that one short, too much traffic in there. Kind of an ill-advised shot. Howard with it. Pass down low. Gorman misses the shot, misses her putback as well. Last touch by the Stars, ball over to Panhandle State. Eight and a half. Williamson will check in for the Lady Aggies. And Grimsley will check in for the Lady Stars. Stick around after the game. We're going to talk to Coach Ray. Get a few questions into him after this one before the boys game. Shot is up and good in the lane by Mariah. Mariah Williams with the drive. Howard with it to the block. Kicks it underneath to Grimsley. She'll kick it to the corner. Back out top now. Three-pointer up from the deep wing is good by Fitzgerald, 71-51. First 20-point lead of the game. Tate to Williams. Jones back to Tate. Tate gets it to Williams, sent at the high post. She looks to drive. Ball stolen away, Fitzgerald got a hand on that one. And they'll say foul. Williamson will be called for the foul. That will be her second, team's third of the quarter. Witt will leave it for Gordon. Fitzgerald skip pass over to Howard. Howard for a deep three, no good. Ralston with the rebound. And she's gonna be fouled by Witt. 
With second foul, team second foul. Seven minutes left to play here in the contest. Travis and Osborne check back in for the Stars. Williams to Tate. Oh, tried to get it down low to Williamson, but tapped away. Still be Lady Aggie's ball as it was tipped out of bounds. Jones will inbound the ball. Out top to Williamson. Williamson leaves it for Jones. She'll put up the three. It's good. 71-54. Howard with the drive, tried to kick it along over to Grimsley, but pass was errant. Out of bounds, back over to Panhandle State. 6.30 to play. Williamson looks to go baseline, puts it up, shot partially blocked, but they'll call the foul. Looks like they'll call that one on Osborne. That's Osborne's second, team's third foul. So Williamson at the line, two shots, gets the first. Misses the second. They'll say lane violation. She knew it was off. I guess she stepped across the line before it touched anything. 6.21 to play. Backdoor pass. As Howard tried to get it to Fitzgerald along the baseline. Williams and Ralston there to defend. You can see which one of them's hands, but one of them's Hands were on it and knocked it out of bounds. Fitzgerald back outside to Howard. Gordon and a baseline foul. Travis on the drive. She's going to be fouled by Tate. That's Tate's second, team's fourth. Six minutes left to play. 71-55 now the lead for the Stars. Out front to Fitzgerald. Travis is going to be called for the travel. Ball back over to the Aggies. Jones out front, gets it to Tate. Williamson at the high post, looks to drive, faces up, back outside to Jones. Drives underneath, kicks it over to Tate. Tate drives, kicks it back down to Jones. Baseline shot by Ralston, no good, kind of bounced to her. Williamson knock, knocks it, Williams knocks it away, ties it up. Arrow points in favor of the Stars, so they'll take back possession. Tierra Williams checks back in. 5.26 left to play. Howard gives it up to Fitzgerald over to Travis. Into the corner, Osborne looks to go baseline. Cutoff kicks it to the opposite corner. Three-pointer by Howard is up and good. 74-55, five to play. Williams the other way, spins at the block, puts it up, gets it to go, draws a foul. She's going to the line for the and one. 
Foul is called on Kelsey Fitzgerald, her second, team's fourth. Harvey Williams will check into the game for Ralston. Misses the free throw, rebounded by Travis. Howard kicks it to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald spins to the baseline on that drive, kicks it across. Travis shot at the block, no good. Draws a chart. Mariah Williams draws the charge. Travis called for her second, team's fifth foul. Tate with the ball, kicks it over to Jones for three. No good. Rebound underneath, foul called on Harvey Williams. As Travis grabs the rebound, that's going to be number four on Harvey Williams' team's fifth foul. They'll walk to the other end, shoot the one and one. It'll be Travis at the line. Makes the first. 4.29 left to play. Missed the second. Rebound by Tierra Williams. Baseline shot by Harvey Williams. No good. Rebounded on the backside by Osborne. Double teamed, able to get it out to Travis across the timeline. Now Howard with it out top. Fitzgerald open for three in the corner, no good. Rebounded by Grimsley, stripped away by Harvey Williams. Lady Aggies in transition, kicks it ahead to Tate. Can't control it. Fitzgerald grabs the loose ball. Howard with it. She'll pull it out. They'll reset the offense, 12 on the shot clock. Howard goes baseline, puts up the floater, no good. Rebounded by Tierra Williams. Jones with it now in transition. Euro steps in the lane, can't get the shot to drop, but draws draw the foul on Osborne. Edie will check in for the Lady Aggies. Jones makes the first. 3.20 left to play. Gets the second. She'll check out of the game as Camilla Miller takes her spot. Witt comes in for the Stars. We've got a timeout on the court. 3.20 to play. Oklahoma City 75, Panhandle State 59.
Out of the timeout, ball belongs to the Stars as well as a 16-point lead. Witt brings the ball up. Travis back outside to Fitzgerald. Witt kicks it to the corner. Spin and a drive by Osborne up underneath. Banks it up and in. 77-59, under three to play. High post to Tierra Williams, down to Mariah Williams, who banks it up and in. 77-61. Ball in the corner, look to baseline drive, ball stolen away. Mariah Williams, long pass ahead to Harvey Williams. Able to chase it down, but she's going to be called for the double dribble. Turn back over to the Stars. 2.20 to play. Witt. Kicks it to Fitzgerald. Back up top. Travis looks to drive. Faces up. Kicks it back outside to Witt. Shot clock under 10. And stepping on the line was Osborne. Ball back over to the Aggies. Under two to play. High post, Mariah w Williams with it. Drive, Harvey Williams back to Williams. No good, rebound by Edie, and she draws a foul as she tries to go up. That foul is going to be on Witt. Two shots. Gets that first one to rattle home. Misses the second. And looks like we may have a lane violation. So one more shot for Edie. And she makes it count. 77-63, 143 to play. Osborne with it. Long pass over to Fitzgerald. Osborne spins, shot from seven feet, no good. 80 was up strong with the rebound. Quickly across midcourt, drives, kicks it off to Harvey Williams, who lays it up and in. 77-65, 110 to play. Witt over to Travis. Travis drives. Knocked away by Harvey Williams. Camello pass up ahead to Harvey Williams, who drives to the hoop, misses the shot. Rebounded by Fitzgerald. Stolen by Edie, who lays it up and in. Time out on the floor, 54.4. We've got a 10-point game here, 77-67. Stars lead the Aggies. Out of the timeout, Aggies full court pressure trailing by 10. Under a minute left to play. Witt with the ball. Guarded by Harvey Williams. Now across the timeline, Travis with the ball. Back to Witt.
Now Fitzgerald, skip pass out of bounds. And the pass to Osborne too high, an unnecessary turnover. Gordon checks back into the game. Gonzalez and Butler. Gonzalez and Butler check into the game. Thirty-four point eight. Harvey Williams with the ball. High post to Tierra Williams. Hesitation cause the travel. So Edie and Camello check back in for defense. As they'll offense a defensive sub. Timeout on the floor. Thirty-one point two left to play. Still a ten-point lead for the Lady Stars. All right, out of the timeout, full court pressure again by the Lady Aggies, trailing by 10, 31.2 left to play. Long pass ahead to Gordon, lays it up and in, 79-67. Harvey Williams with the ball. High post, Williams faces up, back outside to Harvey Williams, three-pointer is up, left it short, rebounded on the back side by Wilson. And that's going to be it. 10 seconds left. Lady Aggies will drop to 1 and 10. 1 and 7 in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Sooner Oklahoma City will improve to 6 and 7, 3 and 5 in the conference. 79-67 Lady Stars defeat the Lady Aggies. Stick around. We'll talk to head coach Greg Ray here in just a moment. Okay. All right, well, we're here with Coach Ray. Coach, uh, first game back after the break. I know you got you got a couple of players, new new putting yeah. on the uniform the first time, yeah. so still feeling out some things. Just your thoughts on your on the game and your team's play. You know, I think that we came out and we did a lot of things that we wanted to do, but our execution on the defensive end, the communication and the rotations, it just wasn't there. We talked all week about helping the helper. And uh, OCU did a great job of, of penetrating the baseline. And when our bigs rotated over to take that away, we didn't have anybody to drop down on the backside and, and help that helper who rotated. So, you know, they got us a couple of times there. And then just transitioning in our defenses, understanding, you know, with the matchup zone, you got to escort someone to another area and then hand them off and then get back to your area and find the nearest person that you're going to be guarding. We've had trouble uh, with communicating all season long. And I think once we get to that point, we're going to see things start to turn around. They're young, they're inexperienced. Coach and I are, are talking to them about doing things that they've never done before. It's a, it's a transition period, and they're fighting, we're fighting, but we got to fight in the same direction. Well, uh, one one positive note, it seemed like, 
You know, uh, when, even when Oklahoma City built a 19-point lead and even a 20-point, seemed like your girls never gave up. They were able to cut that back down. I think one time back all the way to 10 there yeah, yeah. in that final minute and everything. So you had to be happy with their effort that way and not giving up. Yeah, that's been our MO. You know, a good buddy of mine is a head coach at Columbia College, and we went up there on the 7th of November and played them. And he's like, listen, uh, watching your film, he says, listen, they could be down 17, up 2, down 13, back up four, you just, you never know because they don't give up, you know what I mean? We got a good group and they're fighters, but they're just, they got to figure it out. They got to figure it out and we're going to get there. But you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a transition period until we get everybody speaking the same language and, and, and row in the same way, it's going to be tough. Well, your first year here, yep. first year players, a lot of them. Yep. So a lot of, a lot yep. of learning going on. Well, you got another chance uh, coming up Saturday afternoon. Uh, just your thoughts on Saturday's game. You know, uh, we're going to go back and we're going to break this film down, and we're going to look at where we were, where we were, uh, where we were negligent, deficient on the defensive end. And tomorrow is going to be a whole lot of defensive repetitions and just trying to get our people in the right place, doing the right things. And uh, hopefully, our offense, I think, is it's there. We got to get the defense to match our offense, and and hopefully we can come away with the win. But uh, they're they're right there. They're right there. I can see it. Uh, Every day in practice, you see it. It's just a matter of, of, of taking what we're doing in practice and relaying that over to the, to the game.
And we welcome you back to Anchor D Bank Arena here, Oscar Williams Fieldhouse, on the campus of Oklahoma Panhandle State University in Goodwell, Oklahoma. The Oklahoma City Stars, who come in with a six and seven overall record, four and three in the Sooner Athletic Conference, come to town to take on the Panhandle State Aggies, who come in with a one and 12 record, 0 oh and seven in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Talk to Coach Mark Laird yesterday about the team. Very young, very few players that uh, were here last year. So even got three guys putting on uniforms tonight for the Aggies for the first time. You see that, especially here at the NAI level, not completely uncommon at the semester break. So they've got a they've got a, a little bit of a new team. Not even overall, but even from what they had first semester. In fact, I know at least one of those will be starting tonight. So here we go. Starting lineups first for the visitors from Oklahoma City. A 6'2", 185-pound senior from Evanston, Illinois. Number one, Drayvon Claiborne. A 6'3", 175-pound freshman from Frisco, Texas. Number two, Avery Jackson. A 6'2", 175-pound junior from McAllister, Oklahoma. Number 12, Zach LeBlanc. A 6'6", 180-pound senior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Number 22, Corey Guest. And a 6'6", 220-pound junior from Westmont, California, number 23, Brandon Jackson. The Stars are coached by head coach Mark Berkaroff. Barbarikoff, excuse me on that. He's assisted by Garrett White, Eli Burke, and Quinn Ryan. And now the starting lineup for your Oklahoma Panhandle State Aggies. A 6'4", 180-pound senior guard from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Number one, Raekwon Elliott. A 6'6", freshman point guard from Bosnia. Number 10, Beja Chukle. He's actually, this is his first game with the Aggies. Also a 6'5", 210-pound junior forward from Bridgetown, Barbados. Number 12, Justin Pyle. A 6'1", 165-pound sophomore guard from Kinta, Oklahoma. Number 21, Caleb Stevens. And a 6'9", 220-pound sophomore forward from Haiti. Number 22, Woody Therenseal. I pray I got that name right. My apologies if I didn't. I didn't get a chance to make sure on that one. And here we go with the opening tip. Oklahoma State, Oklahoma City will have the first possession. Along the baseline, up and underneath, the putback miss, but a foul call. Foul will go on Stevens, his first, team's first. And on the putback attempt, that was McWilliams. I accidentally said LeBlanc was the starter. It's actually Jack Williams. He sinks the first free throw. He's a seven foot one, 215 pound freshman from Sydney, Australia. Makes the second, missed the first, one nothing stars. Ball on the baseline, stolen away. That was Jackson with the steal from Pyle. Across the timeline. A drive in the lane, shot is up, no good, but the foul on the shot attempt. That's going to be on on Terrence Seal, 
Number 22, his first team second. At the line will be Claiborne for two shots. Gets the first one to go. Second free throw is up and good. Three nothing, Oklahoma City with the early lead. All around the perimeter, Stevens gives it off. And Elliott can't control it, out of bounds. Elliott leading the NAI in scoring, averaging 34 and a half points a game this year. Fake the three, kick back outside. Claiborne for three, it's good. Claiborne with a quick five and it's six nothing, Oklahoma City. Pyle with the ball, into the lane. Up and underneath, lays it in. Aggies on the board, 6-2, 18-39 to play. Full court pressure, man pressure by the Aggies. Ball inbounded to Claiborne. Chukle guarding tightly. They'll come out and try to trap near midcourt. Ball tapped by Chukle and out of bounds. Pyle tried to save it from going out, but couldn't quite get there in time. Ball will stay with the Stars. Jackson will inbound. Gets it into Claiborne at the point. He'll get a screen. Hesitation drive to the hoop. Left it short. Rebound by Terrence Seal. Aggies with it now. Pyle kicks to the corner. Stevens now out top. Chukle, baseline. Shot is put up. No good by Terrence Seal. One 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 Drive in to the block. Shot is up. No good. Tip in. No good. Ball batted off the backboard. Rebounded by Jackson. It will stay deep three by Claiborne. No good. Rebound, though, at the block. Kicked out. Three-pointer is up. No good. Ball tipped out. Stars keep the possession. There's another rebound by McWilliams. Drive to the hoop. Basket up and good by Guest. Eight to two. And the size advantage for the Stars is shown there. Three-pointer by Elliott is good. Eight-five now. 17-22 to play first half. Dip inside, kicked out, baseline drive, kicked back outside. Three-pointer from the corner is short. Chukle with the rebound on the backside. Long pass ahead to Elliott, all the way to the hoop. Lays it up and in, timeout on the floor. 17.06 to play here in the first half. It's 8-7 stars leading the Aggies. So out of the timeout, Oklahoma City ball. Full court pressure by the Aggies. Get the ball into Claiborne. Aggies will look to trap. He's able to bring it across midcourt. Gets it over to Jackson. Now to the corner. Three-pointer is up and good by Guest. 11-7 now the score. Just under 17. Chukle gives it up to Pyle. Now over to Stevens. Elliott to drive, puts up the shot in the lane. Well, highly contested, but gets it to drop in. Gets the foul. He'll go to the line for the and one. 
Aggies will sub, 6'4", 185 pound junior guard from Lawton, Oklahoma. Number three, Joe Greaves, his first playing time of the season. Also a 6'1", 150 pound freshman from St. Louis. Number two, Thomas Tucker into the game. And misses the and one free throw. Also in a 6'8", 180 pound freshman from Haiti, number 25, Enoch Russell. Drive to the block, dumps it underneath to the big man. Tied up, stolen away. Long pass ahead to Russell. Left it short, gets his own rebound. Put back, we're tied up at 11 apiece. 16-10 to play. Claiborne hesitates, now drives in, dumps it down low, shot is up, missed. And a foul call. Foul will be called on Tucker. So Jackson at the line, Brandon Jackson. First foul called on Russell, team's third. Checking in for the Stars. Number 24, Parker Jones. He's a 6'6 sophomore from Russellville, Kentucky. Sixteen oh six to play, sinks the second. 13 to 11 now the lead for the Stars. Tucker brings it up. Greaves back outside to Elliott. Into the corner back to Elliott. At the free throw line, draws contact and the foul going to the line for the and one. They'll call the foul on Claiborne, his first. Pyle checks back into the game for the Aggies. Terrence Seal will take a seat. So Elliott with a chance with the and one free throw to give the Aggies their first lead of the game. It's good, Aggies lead. 14-13, 15-48 to play. Long pass ahead to Jackson. Drives to the hoop, lays it up and in. Stars retake the lead. 15-14, 15, 14, 15 and a half to play. Pyle with it out front. Gets it over to Ross Hill. He'll pull up. Baseline jumper's good, Aggies retake the lead. 16-15. Ball across the timeline. Jackson with it, looks to drive, spins. Fall away jumper is good. And we're back and forth as the Stars retake the lead. 15 to play. Greaves. Back out top to Tucker, back to Greaves. He'll pull up for the wing three, off the front of the rim, Pyle with the rebound. Baseline jumper, left it short, and a, Greaves with the rebound. How he got that one and stayed in bounds, I don't know. Pyle spin in the lane, fake, puts up the jumper, no good. Rebounded by Jackson. Drive by Claiborne in the lane, puts it up, no good. The putback is good, though, by Jones. And looks like... Reeves called. Okay. 
So technical foul being shot does not count towards Greaves was called for the flop. So does not count towards his personal. Chu Clay checks back into the game as well as Stevens. Doesn't count towards the team or pers his personal either. So 2016, Oklahoma City leads 14-10 to play here in the first half. Stevens with the ball. Back outside, Chukle. Coach Laird talk how Chukle would in improve this team quite a bit. Here's his first game. Nice drive and basket. Said he's a great distributor as well. 20 to 18 now the score. A drive and a bank shot fall away by Jackson is good. 22-18. Also expected to have Chukle at the beginning of the year, but he's from Bosnia and they had trouble getting him here, passing through all the different things to get an international player here. Greaves with a nice shot. We're back to a two-point game. 13-20 to play. Two-point lead for Oklahoma City. Drive by Guest, pulls up free throw line, drains it, 24-20. Greaves breaks down, free throw line, puts it up and in. And he's feeling a little with back-to-back -back buckets. Back to a two-point game, 12.45 to play in the first half. Jackson brings it up. Gives it off to Brandon Jackson. He'll pull up for three. No good. Rebound. Ball goes to Jones on the rebound. Back outside, three-pointer. Rims home by Guest. 27-22, 12-20 to play. Russell, baseline jumper, no good. Ball, loose ball, Stevens picks it up for the Aggies. Back outside, Russell for three, in and out. Loose ball chased down by Jones. Back across the timeline quickly. Jones with it, pulls up free throw line, it's good. 29-22, just like that, just under 12 to play. Elliott comes to the timeline to check back in. Greaves, Chukle with the ball now. Outside, three-pointer by Stevens, in and out. Rebound by Brandon Jackson, back the other way. Drive to the hoop, under, underneath, missed. Russell with the rebound. Over to Pyle. Now back to Chukle. Coach Laird cowling out the play once. Chukle with it back in his hands out top. He'll come off the double screen. Greaves with it again. He'll pull up for the three. Left it short. Russell with the rebound, though. Loses control, Greaves gets it back, though shot is partially blocked. A lot of traffic inside, Jones with it, and a foul gonna be called on Greaves. That'll be his first. So Terrence Seal and Elliott back in for the Aggies for Oklahoma City. It will be Zach LeBlanc, number 12. Claiborne back in. Also in number three, Jake Swoboda. Dadrian Homebrecker, number five for the Stars, also in. Shot missed at the rim, jump ball. As Claiborne missed the shot. Ten forty on the clock. Aggies ball, Arrow was in their favor, 10.38 to play. And we've got a foul underneath. Foul will be called on Parker Jones. 
his first, team's third foul. Elliott will inbound underneath the Aggie basket. Out front to Chukle. Pass underneath. Terran Seal can't handle it. Claiborne comes away with it for the Stars. Chukle steps in front of the pass. Passes ahead to Elliott. Knocked away, though. Ball loose on the floor. And Terran Seal falls on it. Calls the timeout. 10-15 to play. Aggies lead, or Aggies trail 22-29 to the Stars. You know you can manage your home Wi-Fi network right from your smartphone? With PTCI Whole Home Wi-Fi, you can quickly and easily manage your home Wi-Fi through your PTCI Wi-Fi app. Set your Wi-Fi password, view connected devices, run speed tests, set up parental controls and more. Experience the best in home Wi-Fi with PTCI Wi-Fi app. Call now and get three months free of whole home Wi-Fi and visit PTCI.net to download the app today. So out of the timeout, Aggies ball. They'll inbound right in front of the Stars bench. High pass near the rim, caught, put back up and in by Stevens. Beautiful pass by Elliott. Great play out of the timeout. Ten minutes to play midway point of this first half. Five-point lead for the Stars. Claiborne, hesitation, drives to the block. Fall away, bank shot is good. 31-24. Chukle leaves it for Pyle, down to Elliott. On the wing, gives it up to Pyle, who drives in, pulls up for the shot, banks it home. Actually didn't bank it home, banked it off the rim and in. 31-26, nine and a half. Claiborne drive in, puts up the shot in the lane, no good, they'll call the foul, the body foul on Pyle. His first, team's fifth. So Claiborne at the line. Tucker and Greaves waiting at the at the scorer's table to check back in for the Aggies. And in for the Stars, number four, Nick Bonifay. Junior from Huntsville, Alabama. That's his first action. No good on the second free throw. Terrence Seal with the rebound. Six point. Underneath to Terrence Seal. Beautiful pass there by Stevens as they've gotten a couple lob passes inside now for baskets. Four point game. Claiborne gets it on the wing to LeBlanc. Three-pointer from the top of the key, no good. Teammates, that's going to be a travel and just an unnecessary turnover there. Russell will check back in for the Aggies. 8.55 left in the first half. And loose ball. Ball goes out of bounds back over to the Aggies. Claiborne threw it in and expected his man to go right, and he went the other way. 8.55 to play. Tucker with the ball. Brings it across the timeline. Back to Greaves. Stevens comes off the screen. Back to Greaves. Russell with it in the post now. And a travel call. A little bit of a drag on the 
pivot foot. Ball back over to the Stars. Claiborne across the timeline. Drives in, lays it up and in. Defense kind of slacked as the man-to-man -man defender got behind him. Nobody came up to help, 34-28. Stevens in the corner with it, drives in. Dumps it across the lane. Russell, baseline jumper, left it short, gets his own rebound. Up underneath, they'll call him for the travel. Ball back over to Oklahoma City. Claiborne will bring it up. Eight minutes to play here in the first half. Six point lead for the Stars. Bonifay with the ball out top. Pass knocked out of bounds by Stevens. Tried to get, get it to Claiborne cutting baseline. Into the game for the Aggies, a 6'4", 175 pound freshman guard from Wichita, Kansas. Number four, Cameron Chapman is for action of the night. Chukle will check back in as well for the Aggies. Ball into McWilliams. Shot clock at three. Claiborne pulls up deep. Fall away shot. No good. Ball tipped out. To Bonifay gets it over. Shot from three. No good. Loose ball out of bounds. Last touch by Oklahoma City. It'll stay with the Aggies. That was LeBlanc that missed the three. Avery Jackson returns to the game for the Stars. 7.29 to play. First half. Chukle at the point. Gets it to Rosal baseline. Dumps it underneath. The bank shot up and good by Greaves. Nice pass there by Rosal. Four point deficit for the Aggies. Chapman almost had that one. Jackson able to keep possession, drives in, no good, but looks like he draws the foul. Foul will be called on Chapman. That'll be his first. Team's sixth foul. So Jackson at the line for two shots. Next foul, they'll be in the bonus, so it's free throws the rest of the half for the Stars. First free throw, up and good. Brandon Jackson checks back in for Oklahoma City. And Theron Seal checks back in for the Aggies. Second free throw, rattles home, 6.57 to play, 36.30 now the score. Ball on the wing, Elliott with it, gets the screen, drives in the lane, puts up the floater, draws the foul. They'll call that on LeBlanc. His first, team's fourth. So Ray Elliott at the line. Can't get that first one to roll in. Pyle will return to the game. Into the game for the Stars, number 55. A 6'4 sophomore from Melbourne, Australia. Sam Tolapu. Free throw is good. Five point deficit for the Aggies now. Across the timeline, Tolapu with it. He was actually in the game once before with the drive to the block, but I missed the call on that. They'll call the foul as Tolapu took it to the hoop. Foul will be on Chukle, his first 
team's seventh foul, so Oklahoma City in the bonus the rest of the half. Of course, Philip Hugh was in the act of shooting, so that'll be two shots. First free throw, up and good. Rattles home the second as well. 38-31, six and a half to play in the first half. Pyle gets it over to Chapman. Now back to Elliott. Elliott pulls up deep three from the top of the key. Nothing but net, his second of the game. He's in double figures, and it's back to a four-point game. Avery Jackson kicks the corner. Elliott gets a hand on it, knocks it out of bounds. They'll inbound it in front of the Aggie bench. Stevens will check back in for the Aggies. Chapman's first action on the season as well. Coach Laird said he'd get him in, but he was going to limit his minutes early on here. Offensive foul called. That's on McWilliams. His first, team's fifth. He'll check out as Parker Jones will come in in his spot. Six minutes left to play in the half. Aggies with a chance to make this a one possession game. Chukle with the ball. Leaves it for Elliott out top for Pyle. Back to Chukle. Elliott looks to drive. Cuts down. Pass underneath and the dunk. Terran Seal makes it a two point game. Steal. Stevens puts it up. Can't get the shot to go, but he does draw the foul. Foul is going to be called on Tolapu. So Stevens goes to the line with a chance to tie it up. 5.42 left to play here in the first half. Just incredible hustle defense there. And can't get the shooter's roll on the first. Claiborne checks back in. As well as Corey Guest. Steven sinks the second. That'll make it a one-point game, 38-37. Aggie still trailing. Claiborne across the timeline with it. Kicks to the wing. Now into the post. Drive to the basket. Puts up the shot. Over the outstretched arm of Terrence Seal. Jones gets the drop in. Back to a three-point game. Pyle hands it off to Stevens, batted away though. Ball loose on the floor. Oklahoma City comes away with it. Claiborne passes up a hit to Jackson. Kicks it to Jones, who drives and lays it up and in. 42 37, just under five to play. Stevens to Terrence Seal, faces up baseline, spins at the block. Back to the baseline side, up and underneath. No good. Claiborne with the rebound. Drive tapped away by Chukle momentarily. Three-pointer is up and good by Brandon Jackson. 45-37, just like that, an eight-point game. Pyle kicks it over the wing. The wing. Terrence Seal with it on the block. Kicks it back outside, stolen away into the open court. It's Avery Jackson who lays it up and in. And just like that, a 10-point game. Elliott with it. Chukle with it now. Elliott pulls up for the deep three off the front of the rim. Tipped forward. Guest with it now. These are for Claiborne. Back three from the corner is good by Guest. 
50 to 37 now, 340 to play. Chukley over to Pyle. Skip pass to Stevens in the corner. Stolen away. Choke, Chukley gets it back though. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Back to Pyle, drives in. Four on the shot clock, puts it up in and out. Rebounded by Guest. Long pass ahead, blocked by Terrence Seal by, from behind. Jones went for the dunk, and Terrence Seal blocked that one from behind. Russell checks back in, as well as Greaves and Tucker. 3.06 left in the half. Aggies badly in need of a rally here in what was once a tie game or a one-point game. Now 13-point lead for the Stars. Claiborne with the drive. That's going to be a body foul on the floor on Stevens. But in the bonus, they'll go to the line. Eighth team foul, second on Stevens. 2.57 to go, one and one for Claiborne. Left it short, rebounded by Russell. Ball on the wing, Greaves at the free throw line, leaves it outside for Tucker. In the corner, Stevens for three, off the Back iron, rebound by Russell at the high post. Elliott with it. Drives in, lays it off the glass, no good. Reeves gets the rebound and looks like he'll draw a foul. Foul will be called on Brandon Jackson, his first team seventh. So both teams now in the bonus with 2.30 to play. It'll be Greaves at the line. He was in the act of shooting, so they'll give him two. First is good. Pyle will check back in. Also Chapman back in. Second free throw good as well. 50-39. Avery Jackson bringing it up for the Stars. Across the timeline, guarded tightly there by Tucker. They'll say Tucker got him with the body. That's Tucker's first, team's ninth. Avery Jackson at the line for the one and one. Made the first, 219 to play. Second free throw, no good. Rebound by Pyle. Quickly ahead to Chapman. Kicked it outside, three-pointer up by Greaves, it's good! 51-42, two to play. Pass down low and the dunk by Jones. 53-42. Pyle over to Chapman. Chapman spins at the free throw line, tried to dump it down to Pyle. Pyle up and underneath, missed the shot. Rebound by Avery Jackson, quickly back the other by Guest. 56-42. Elliott banks it up and in. That was a tough bank. 
56-44, 110 to play. Claiborne pulls up free throw line, no good. Rebound by Elliott. Ball into the corner to Grease, pulls up for another three, left that one short. Pile there for the rebound, and he's going to be fouled by Jones. So Pyle at the line for the one and one. Chukle checks back in for the Aggies. That was foul number two by Parker Jones, team's eighth foul. McWilliams will come back into the game for the Stars. 51.2 on the clock. First free throw from Pyle is good. He'll get one more. Terrence Seal will check in. So second free throw from Pyle. He'll try to make it a 10-point game, and he does. Full court pressure from the Aggies, man. Avery Jackson gets it up to Brandon Jackson. Now Claiborne, oh, backdoor pass, dumps it off to McWilliams. And that was quite the acting job there by McWilliams. He <laughs> flailed every limb he had, but he got the call. He'll go to the line for two shots. First free throw is good. That was foul number two on Terrence Seal. He'll check out as Russell will come back in. And gets the shooter's roll on the second. 37 seconds left, 12 point game. Elliott with it in the corner. Elliott will go to the line for the one and one. Claiborne call for the foul. Stevens. Checks back into the game. That foul was called on Claiborne. That's his second, team's ninth. Elliott sinks the first. 25.6 on the clock. Second one good as well. Back to a 10-point game. Avery Jackson with it. Drives to the hoop. No good, but the putback by McWilliams as he went over. The 7-1 guy went over everybody. Steal. It's Brandon Jackson with it, under 10 seconds. It's Avery Jackson with it, three seconds. Baseline fall away is good, and that is the half. 62-48, Oklahoma City leads Panhandle State. We'll be back with the second half.
PTCI Cellular gives you the best of both worlds, with 42 towers from Kenton to Laverne. No one else covers you like we do in Northwest Oklahoma. And when you travel across this great land, PTCI's nationwide partners keep you connected. Experience the best service today, 800-562-2556 or visit ptci.net. Contract buyouts are available. Some restrictions may apply. So you can manage your home Wi-Fi network right from your smartphone? With PTCI Whole Home Wi-Fi, you can quickly and easily manage your home Wi-Fi through your PTCI Wi-Fi app. Set your Wi-Fi password, view connected devices, run speed tests, set up parental controls and more. Experience the best in home Wi-Fi with PTCI Wi-Fi app. Call now and get three months free of Whole Home Wi-Fi and visit PTCI.net to download the app today.
And we welcome you back to Anchor D Arena here at Oscar Williams Fieldhouse on the campus of Oklahoma Panhandle State University here in Goodwill, Oklahoma. At the half, Aggies trailing 62-48. Aggies were 18 of 36 from the field, 50%, 3 of 10 from 3, and 9 of 12 at the free throw line. Oklahoma City was 21 of 35 from the field for 60%, 6 of 13 from three-point range, 46%, and 14 of 18 at the free throw line. Aggies out-rebounded. The Stars, 21-18, and even grabbed 11 on the offensive end as well. There were two lead changes in that first half. Oklahoma City has led for the most part. Aggies have only led by one point, and uh, Oklahoma City has led by as many as 14. Turnovers, Aggies with nine compared to just three for the Stars. Bench points, Aggies with 15 to 12 for the Stars. Points in the paint are even, 18 for the Stars, 16 for the Aggies. Points off turnovers, 13 for the Stars, only five for the Aggies. Personal fouls are fairly even as well, just one difference. Uh, for Panhandle State scoring wise, Elliott with 18, Greaves off the bench with 11. Pyle has six for Oklahoma City. Several players in double figures. Avery Jackson with 13 to lead their scoring. Guest with 12. Claiborne with 10. And Jackson also with 10. Be sure to stick around after this game. We'll talk to head coach, Aggie head coach Mark Laird after the game, get his thoughts on this one and also heading into Saturday. Aggies will host John Brown University. Girls start at two, guys should be about 3.45 or so. There are four o'clock. Claiborne with it for the Stars, drives in the lane, kicks it out to the corner, three-pointer is up, no good. Rebound on the backside, foul called. Darren Seal will be called for the foul. And he'll quickly have to go out. Rosiel will take his spot. That's his third foul. Team's first foul of the half. Brandon Jackson leaves it for Claiborne. Comes off the screen from McWilliams, puts up the three and gets it to drop in. Chukle will bring it up for the Aggies. 64-48 now the score. Pyle wants it, has it on the block, picks up his dribble back outside to Chukle. Whips it to the corner, Stevens baseline runner, up and underneath, can't get it to go, but does get a foul call. Foul will be on Avery Jackson. That'll be Avery Jackson's second team's first foul. So Caleb Stevens at the line for two shots. Referees discussing with the timekeeper on that last shot. It was a two or a three. Oklahoma City coaches They'll leave it at two. They'll say Mc 
Williams tipped that in instead of it being a three. Free throw is up and good by Stevens. Nineteen oh seven left in the contest. Second free throw up, in and out. Ball tipped around. Claiborne comes around with the rebound for the Stars. Looks to drive all the way to the hoop. Left it short though. Chuklay with the rebound. Long pass ahead to Elliott. Lays it up and in at the other end. 64-51. Nice transition there by the Aggies. Quickly back to Claiborne in the corner at the opposite end. Guest with the drive. Leaves it outside. Drive by Jackson. No good. Chukle with the rebound. Aggies in transition. Quickly up to Elliott in the lane. Puts up the floater. It'll roll over the rim and in. 64-53, just under 18 and a half to play. Skip pass, Claiborne with it now. Fake the dump off pass, puts it up and in, 66-53 now. Stevens. Gives it off to Elliott. Elliott looked to drive, poked away from behind. Gets it back, though. Chukle with it. And a foul called on Brandon Jackson. His second, team second. Greaves checks in for the Aggies. Elliott comes off the screen, puts up the floater, banks it up and in. Timeout on the floor, 17.41 to go. It's Oklahoma City 66, Panhandle State 55. So Stars ball, Avery Jackson brings it up for the Stars. Dives inside, brings it all the way in. Floater, no good. Rebound by Rocille. And a foul call on the rebound. That'll be on Avery Jackson. Third team foul, third personal foul as well. Chuklay will bring it across. Pile. Over to Greaves. Spins at the block. Banks it up and in. You can see the two players, Greaves and Chuklay, who've gotten a lot of playing time. First action in Aggie uniforms. And they've made a big difference for this team. 66-57. Back down to a single digit lead. Back out top, Claiborne for three. He's wide open, missed it. Chukle tips it to himself. Over to Pyle. Elliott now with the ball. 
pulls up deep three, drains another one. 66-60, Aggies are within six. And a foul, offensive foul. Tucker checks back in for the Aggies. LeBlanc in for Oklahoma City. Actually, it wasn't a foul. Ball was just tapped out of bounds. Oh, technical foul was called. Referee was nice enough to let me know on that one. Timeout call, 16-38. Oklahoma City leads Panhandle State 66-60. PTCI Cellular gives you the best of both worlds. With 42 towers from Kenton to Laverne, no one else covers you like we do in Northwest Oklahoma. And when you travel across this great land, PTCI's nationwide partners keep you connected. Experience the best service today, 800-562-2556 or visit ptci.net. Contract buyouts are available. Some restrictions may apply. Okay, I was corrected on my correction there. there. Was no technical foul ball was just tipped out of bounds, so I was right from the start there. <laughs> ball inbounded, stolen away on the inbounds play by Brandon Jackson up to Claiborne. West with it now, looks to go baseline, cut off, back out top to Brandon Jackson. Deep three by Guest, no good. Rebound by McWilliams on the other side. Puts it up and in. 68-60. 16 minute mark of the contest. Pyle with it now. Gets it over to Tucker. And the lay-in can't get it to go. Put back though is good by Rosal. LeBlanc kicks it out, driving the lane by Guest, and a foul call. They'll say two, he was fouled on the shot. Foul will be called on Greaves. That's Greaves' second foul, team's fourth, actually his first. Okay, it actually is a second on Greaves, team's second foul as well. First free throw up by Guest is good. Fifteen thirty-eight to play. Second free throw by Guest, in and out. Three Aggies there to rebound. Pyle grabs it, they were smart enough not to Get a travel call tying each other up there. Elliott with the ball now. Kicks to the corner. Rosal with it now, kicks back to the corner. Three pointer is up by Tucker, no good. Ball tipped around, out of bounds, over to Oklahoma City. Seven point game. Claiborne. Warren trying to draw the foul, drives all the way in, blocked. And out of bounds. Rosa with the defense. Tucker with the ball, brings it across the timeline. Kicks to the corner to Greaves, back out top. Elliott now with the ball. Drives in, and they're gonna call the foul there on LeBlanc. That's his second, team's fourth. Just under 15 left to play.
Elliott with the ball, gets it to the block. Fade away, shot is good. 69-64, all the way to the other end quickly. And they're gonna call a, an intentional foul on Russell. Referee's discussing to make sure. Referees discussing still. They do change it to a common foul on Russell. Russell. His second, team third. Brandon Jackson at the line for two shots. First one is good. Chapman, Chukle, and Stevens return to the game. As Elliott, Tucker, and Greaves will get a breather. 14.44 to play. Gets the second as well, 71-64. I'll out top with it. Backs in, into the lane, puts up the shot, blocked. Brandon Jackson got that one. Pyle takes it up again, it's blocked, and draws a foul. He'll go to the line for two. They'll call the foul on Brandon Jackson. Third team, third personal, fifth team foul. So pile at the line for two shots. First shot up and gets the shooter's roll. Terrence Seal will turn, return to the game for the Aggies. And Parker Jones in for the Stars. 14-25 left to play. Second one straight through the net. 71-66 now the score. Pass down low. Back outside, into the corner. Claiborne gets the screen from Guest, drives to the block, and they're gonna call a foul on Stevens. He bodied him up. Jacob Swoboda in for the Stars. And Joe Greaves in for the Aggies. 14.05 to play. Ball inbounded to Jones. Now back to other side. Stevens steps in front of it. Couldn't get it back though. Claiborne now with it. Kicks to the corner. LeBlanc gives it up to Claiborne. Oh, lane opened up. Terrence Seal with the block. Chukle with it. Up ahead to Chapman behind his back into the corner. Three pointer from Greaves. That's good. 71 69. Back to a two-point game. Claiborne with it. Jones back to Claiborne. He'll get the screen. They give it up to Guest. Guest, three seconds on the shot clock, gets it off and the layup just before the break, timeout on the court, 13.07 to play, Oklahoma City 73, Panhandle State 69.
Hey, just a reminder again, Aggies will be back in action here at home Saturday as they take on John Brown University. Girls start at 2, guys will be after that, about 3.45 or 4 o'clock, right in that range. So be sure to come out and check out all the action. Aggies ball, trailing by four, inbounded to Chukle. Tight coverage there by Guest, gives it up over to Greaves, now to Chapman. Chapman gets the screen, dumps it across. Stevens gives up his dribble. Chukle spins all the way to the hoop, can't get it to go. Oh, the follow-up dunk by Terrence Seal makes it a two-point game. 12.40 to play. Aggies trail 73-71. Claiborne with it out top. Gives it up to Guest. Deep three. Oh, and he drains it for the answer, 76-71. Greaves pulls up for three. Top of the key, left it short. Rebound by LeBlanc. Dives inside, kicks the corner, Claiborne dumps it off to put Jones high off the glass, no good, and they'll call the foul. Aggies in protest on that one. They'll say it's on the shot. They'll call that one on Terrence Seal. That'll be his third, team's fourth. So Jones at the line for two shots. Makes the first. Out of the timeout, Aggie ball trailing by four. Had it down to one, but big three-pointer there by Jackson. Made it back to a four-point game. Oklahoma City is hit nine today, nine of 22. Chukle back outside. Rosal kicks it to the corner. Chapman pulls up, hits the shot. Back to a two-point game, 91-89, 4.45 to play. And Coach Laird said, you know, despite this team only having one win on the season, winless in the conference, he felt with the players that were coming in, he really liked his team, and they're playing like it tonight. In the lane, shot is up, no good. Parker Jones couldn't get that one to roll in, but he did get the foul call. That will be on Cameron Chapman. Second personal, eighth team foul. Both teams in the bonus the rest of the way. Said he really enjoyed coaching this team. Just likes their mental makeup and everything and says the wins will come. Very young team though. Second free throw, good as well. 92-89, now the lead for the Stars. 
Jukle pass in the lane, intercepted. Tried to get it to Rosal cutting through. Brandon Jackson stepped in front of it. Pyle got a hand on that one. They got it back though. Claiborne with it now, comes to get it. He'll bring it back out near midcourt. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Avery Jackson now back out top. Three pointer is up, no good. Long rebound though by Avery Jackson back up top to Claiborne. Avery Jackson looks to drive. Left handed layup, can't get it to roll in. Rosal with the rebound. Elliott back the other way. Leaves it for Pyle. He left it short on the dunk, and he's fouled from behind on the shot. Brandon Jackson will be called for that one. That's his fourth, tenth team foul. Aggies in the double bonus the rest of the way. Pyle at the line for two shots. First shot from Pyle is up and does not get the shooter's roll on that one. Greaves, Stevens check back into the game. As Chapman and Rosa will check out. Three minutes, 30 seconds left in this one. Aggies trying to find a way to get their first conference win. Second free throw good, makes it a two-point game. Claiborne's going to walk it up. Stevens guarding just across the timeline. They'll hold it midcourt. They're going to try to use as much clock as possible. Claiborne with it again. Now he's on the floor, tied up. No, they'll set a timeout on the floor. As Claiborne called it, 3.08 left to play. Oklahoma City 92, Oak Panhandle State 90. Back out on the court, Oklahoma City will inbound right in front of their own bench. Aggies have outscored Oklahoma City here in the second half, 42 to 30 to make this a two point game. Claiborne up top, shot clock at five, drives to the hoop, missed the shot, the putback no good. And a rebound underneath by Guest. They'll call the foul on Elliott. So it'll be the one and one for Guest. That's Elliott's first foul, team's ninth foul. Three minutes on the clock. Guest has been fantastic from beyond. How is he at the line? Gets the first to go. He's got 24 now. Guest actually five of six from the line. Three minutes to play. Make that six of seven, and it's a four-point game again. Chukle brings it up, Pyle over to Greaves. Fall away, turnaround jumper, no good. Probably not the best shot there. Guest with the rebound. Avery, jo Avery Jackson lets the defense clear, drives in. That's going to be an offensive foul on him. Stevens draws the charge. That is number four on Jackson. Two thirty-eight left to play. Chukle brings it up for the Aggies. Now Greaves over to Stevens. Stevens. 
Get the ball to pile. In the lane, faces up, puts it up, gets it to drop in, draws a foul. He'll go to the line for the and one. Foul is going to be called on Parker Jones. That'll be his third. So Pyle with a chance to make this a one-point game. 2.18 on the clock. Gets it to go. Pyle with 14 points now. Avery Jackson brings it up. Chukle guarding tightly. Lost it for a second. Leaves it up for Claiborne. Back to Jackson. Now up top, under 10 seconds on the shot clock. Game clock under two minutes. Drive to the hoop. Puts it up. And an offensive foul is going to be called on Parker Jones. Ball back over to the Aggies with a chance to take the lead. That is number four on Parker Jones. One fifty-one left to play. Reeves has it out near midcourt. Chukle and Elliott. Chukle with it now. 12 on the shot clock. Gives it back to Greaves. Ball knocked out of bounds as Brandon Jackson stepped in front of that pass. Eight on the shot clock. Coach Laird calling out the play he wants here on the inbound. Elliott will inbound. Gets it to Chukle near mid court, the corner. Five on the shot clock. Ball tapped out of bounds. This time by Claiborne. It still remains with the Aggies. Four on the shot clock. Ball to pile. Back to Elliott. Puts up the deep prayer off the rim. Rebounded by Stevens. Steps in the lane, puts up the shot. That's it! Aggies take the lead. 95-94. Timeout on the court with 114 to play. Aggies lead by one. So out of the timeout, ball belongs to Oklahoma City. Aggies take their first lead of the game with 1.14 left to play, 95-94. Aggies trying to get their first conference win of the season. Claiborne with it. Stevens punched it away momentarily. Claiborne able to get it back, though. He's going to hold it near midcourt. 
They've got the ball to Brandon Jackson. Pulls up for three from the wing. Oh, and he drains it. Timeout on the floor, 54.4. Stars retake the lead, 97-95. We'll be back after the timeout. Out of the timeout, Aggies ball. Greaves will inbound to Chukle. Two players right there. First time in an Aggie uniform ever tonight. Greaves, I think he's second in scoring for the Aggies tonight. He's still got it. Back to Chukle out top. 15 on the shot clock. They want to get the ball to Elliott. Understandably with 37, 10 on the clock. Asking to clear out, drives, kicks it down low to Pyle, dumps it home! Tied up at 97, under 30 seconds left to play. Beautiful pass there by Elliott. And we've got a timeout on the floor again, 22 seconds left. It's all tied up at 90. So Stars will inbound on the sideline. Tie ball game, 97 each, 22.1 seconds on the clock. And another timeout call to avoid the five second call. Same time on the clock, tie ball game, 97 all.
Out of the timeout, Oklahoma City with the ball. Brandon Jackson will inbound it. Wants to get it to Claiborne. Oh, tipped away by Chukley. Chases it down, and he's fouled on the shot. Peja Chukley, he's going to go to the line for two free throws. Claiborne called for the foul. His third. So Chukley with an opportunity to give the Aggies the lead again. Misses off the back iron on the first. 18.4 left to play. Gets the second. Aggies lead 98 97. Claiborne with the ball. Taking their time up the court. Looks like they're going to hold for one shot. Under 10 seconds left. Claiborne to the corner. Looks to drive to the hoop. Blocked. No call. Went to the floor, but a good clean block. 4.8 seconds left. Referees want to come together. They're going to say 5.1 on the clock. So Oklahoma City ball still. Pass out front, and goes it. Nobody touched it. Chuklay did touch it, 2.1, but they'll have to go the full length of the court now. Couldn't quite chase it down. Got a fingertip on it. Ball inbounded to Claiborne. Shot from half court. No good. Aggies win. Aggies win. Panhandle State 98, Oklahoma City 97. The Aggies pick up their first conference win of the season to start the second semester. Stick around. We're going to talk to head coach Mark Laird here in just a moment. Huge win for the Aggies. waiting for coach as all the players go through the stands thanking all the fans who came going over some of the team stats Aggies were 38 of 68 from the floor that's 56 percent 5 of 17 point range and 16 of 23 from the free throw line for 70 percent Oklahoma City was 31 of 59 from the field for 52 and a half percent. 10 of 24 from three for 42 percent. And then was 25 of 32 from the free throw line for 78 percent. Aggies out rebounded Oklahoma City 40 to 30. That was a huge stat tonight. 19 offensive rebounds. Big one there at the end that gave them a chance when Elliott threw up the prayer to beat the shot clock. Time with the lead in the game, 40 minutes. Aggies led one minute and six seconds. Of course, they led with no time on the clock and that's the most important. Looking at assist, Aggies was 16 compared to 11 for Oklahoma City. 13 turnovers compared to nine for Oklahoma City. Bench points big tonight, 27 compared to 18 for the Stars. Steals right at seven and five for each team. Individual scoring for the Aggies. 
course, big tonight, the nation's leading scorer, outdid himself with 37. And uh, one of your guys in a brand new uniform tonight, Greaves, yeah. with 16, and also Pyle with 16, yeah. and a huge one there at the end. Coach Laird picked up your first conference win of the season tonight, yeah. had some new guys out there, just excellent ball game. Yeah, yeah, we, we didn't defend all that well, give up 62 points in the first half, and frustrated but you know I tried to let them know I mean we talked about a halftime 15 minutes left I want to be down 10 five 10 minutes left I want to be down five five minutes left I want to be a tie ball game we'll